Let me ask you something, huh? Have you ever had a pizza shaped like a star with ricotta cheese stuffed into the corners like a calzone? No? Well, put some pants on, splash some water on your face, and come meet me at Mr. 01. I got something to show you. When it comes to pizza, three major things. Cheese, sauce, dough, whoa, and glorious bastards. The possibilities for a pizza is pretty much innumerable. You wanna stuff the crust, you go ahead and do that. You want thin crust, you want Chicago style deep dish. Uh, you got this new thing going on like over at Mr. 01 where you have the Star Luca. The Star Luca is my personal favorite. Spicy soppressata, a little fresh basil, cheese, all the standard stuff. But then you have the ricotta cheese stuffed inside of the corners. Brilliant, brilliant. And it's just enough of it too, uh, where it doesn't really kind of take away from the experience. If anything, it adds to it because one, it looks really cool. Two, it tastes fantastic. Three, I could eat the whole thing myself. And I, I basically did. Why I like this pizza so much is because it's thin crust. Boom, sign me up right from the beginning. Second, the ratios are just right. You have that subtle sweetness and the acidity coming from the tomato sauce. Just enough salt inside of the cheese to play around with those components. The dough itself has that give that you're looking for. Nice and crispy on the outside, those nice char marks that you're looking for. The cheese is melted properly, they throw on some herbs, and in my particular case, I got the Star Luca. Star ones are awesome. They have three different options that you could do. And I like stuff with kind of like pepperoni or salami. They're using calabrese salami. Gives it a little bit of a spice component. I love a little bit of heat. I don't have to throw on the pepper flakes thereafter. It's already built in with the fresh basil. It just sings, baby, it does. So the whole concept behind Mistro One Pizza is pretty interesting in its own right. So. The gentleman that started the whole thing comes over from Italy, he applies for a visa to work over here in the States, and he gets granted an O-1 visa. So apparently that is for people of extraordinary talents in one respective craft, and people here in the United States, they want to welcome people like that, because we're a big melting pot, and we like the best of the best in every category. Pizza is one of those things that I could eat pretty much every single day, in a different version or another. I love it. It's one of those great things that's just kind of embedded in your childhood and you have all these fond memories and it's cool because people keep pushing the envelope to make it even better and crazier and more different. Pizza's one of those things where you could have a crappy version of it and an awesome version of it and anything in between because it's just a great idea right from the beginning. You give me a little Mama Celeste pizza where I could throw in the microwave for two minutes, I'm gonna be a happy man if the time is right. If I got $100 to spend and it's white truffle season, I go to a spot that knows how to put it together, boom, you got white truffle pizza and then all the other stuff in between. I know everybody's got their favorites when it comes to pizza, so let me know what your favorite is in the comment section below. Next week, I'm gonna keep hunting down some good ideas for you. I have a couple things that I'm playing around with and I think you should be pretty satisfied when all said and done. Uh, if I don't see you, happy Thanksgiving to everybody. I wish you the best. Hopefully you enjoy the time with your families and friends. Just wanna say thank you so much for joining this week. And as always, my friends, you keep watching, I'll keep hunting. See you soon.